It's time for an emergency episode of the Taco Truck Roundup. AppSumo has just dropped a 48-hour flash sale for Plus members exclusively. There are three deals that have been brought back from the past that are now available for the next 48 hours. In this edition of the Taco Truck Roundup, I'm gonna tell you what I think of these tools, whether or not you should pick them up. First up is Unifier. Now, Unifier is the only one of these tools that I have a full length review of. So I will link to that down below. If you really wanna dig into the tool and exactly what my experience was using it, you can definitely do so. Overall, I didn't love Unifier. It was not my favorite tool. What it does is it takes some content, so audio or video or even text, and then it repurposes it into other formats. The one thing that Unifier has going for it over other tools that have come out since then, like video to blog and video to page, both which I rated very highly, Unifier will allow you to output to multiple formats at once. So let's say you have a YouTube video and you want to generate, let's say a blog post and some social media, and then maybe some notes. And you could do all of those all at the same time. There's up to 30 different formats you can output. But overall, I found that the quality on Unifier just really wasn't there when compared to something like a Claude Pro account. And that's what I basically detailed in my video. Now, since Unifier has come out, we've seen these other tools like video to blog and video to page, which also take screenshots and then place them into your article. For me, I'm probably not gonna go back to something like Unifier after using those more advanced tools, of which I think both of those tools are still available on AppSumo. So I'll link to my full length reviews for those down below as well, just for a little compare and contrast. Overall, I gave Unifier a 6.2 out of 10. So not a terrible score, but there's certainly some room for improvement. Next up is Pickaxe. This tool is very exciting to me. What you can do with Pickaxe is create forms or AI chatbots. You can even use their AI builder to build AI things. How meta can you get? But basically what you're looking at with something like the Pickaxe forms is something like that old kids game. You remember where you say like, fill out a verb, fill out a noun, and then you read it back and it kind of generates a story for you. What were those called? Mad Libs, Mad Libs is what I was looking for there. It's kind of like building a Mad Lib that turns into an AI prompt. So the idea here is your user will answer some questions in a form, but that form is actually completing a prompt and then they'll get an output from AI on the other side. Really creative way to do custom prompting and basically have a chatbot without having a chatbot. And I really like that because as much as the experts tell us that chatbots are very natural, sometimes it's not very natural to have a conversation in that type of format. So it's a really cool and interesting perspective on it. Now, if you wanna make a chatbot, you can do that with Pickaxe as well. And what's even cooler is that after you've made your chatbots and your forms, you can either embed them on your website like you might expect, or you can use their studio. And with studio, you can actually connect up your Stripe account and charge for access to these tools. Now, this is kind of like a little website builder. You can have multiple studios depending on the AppSumo plan that you purchase, but it's like a little website builder where you can have your chatbot live, people can access it, and then you can you know, monetize your work of you know, training the chatbots and providing the information. So if you're a content creator, I think this could be a very interesting way to add an extra income source while just you know, re reusing the information that you're already putting out there. So Pickaxe is a very exciting tool to me. It's one I missed the first time around on AppSumo, so I'm not gonna give it a final score. I haven't put it through the thorough testing that I typically do for my AppSumo reviews, but definitely check this one out if it sounds exciting to you. It's, uh, yeah, definitely outside of the box for AI tools, and overall, the interface, I've been playing around with the free account a little bit. I'm probably going to be looking into picking up the code during the flash sale, and just playing around with the interface a little bit, it's really well done. It seems polished and you know, you can kind of just get a feel for the user interface pretty quickly. And it seems like they've put a lot of thought and care into the user experience. The last tool of this AI flash sale is Doxter. Doxter is a PDF upload and chat type of tool where you can grab your documents, upload them to Doxter and then have a conversation with them. Now, what makes Doxter special is the ability to choose different formats of documents so that you can have some contacts for the AI chat. 
Like for example, there's a preset for legal documents. There's a preset for notes. There's a preset for extracting key ideas. So you don't have to worry so much about the prompting. You can use one of their presets to get a desired output. And I think that's a great idea, especially for people who are newer to AI and don't really want to take the time to write a custom prompt every time they want to ask a question of a PDF. I guess it's kind of silly if we're getting that lazy with uh, AI at this point. Like, I don't want to bother. Just literally give me the exact answer that I want. But I mean, we're humans. We're always going to go down. Well, can you make it easier? Can you make it easier? You know, the car's driving itself, but c could it also like, you know, feed me French fries while I drive? I, I, it's going to happen. I promise you there'll be little robots just putting the food right in your mouth. Okay, so those are the three tools that are available for the flash sale. But as I mentioned in the intro, you need to be an AppSumo Plus member in order to partake in this sale. What is AppSumo Plus? Let me give you the TLDR. So AppSumo Plus is kind of like Amazon Prime for AppSumo. You pay $100 per year, and instead of getting two-day shipping, you get 10% off of everything you buy at AppSumo. So right there, if you spend a lot at AppSumo, it's a pretty good deal. But there's a bunch of other perks. Notably, you get these credits. They're doing it right now. I don't know if it's going to be a permanent fixture, but right now, every 90 days, they give you a $25 credit, which basically means that this is free if you're shopping at least once every quarter at AppSumo. And then you save 10% on everything else you buy. So again, win-win. AppSumo has also regularly been releasing deals a week early for AppSumo Plus members at a lower price point. So regular customers might get it a week later and it's going to cost $59, but Plus members get a week earlier and it costs $49. So then on top of that, you still stack your 10% off, meaning that you know it really makes zero sense to not be a Plus member if you're buying something that's like tier two or tier three, because the extra compounding savings plus the increase in price, it, it, it's going to pay for itself after just like one or two purchases. And on top of that, you'll also get free access to a couple of AppSumo tools, namely Tier 1 of SendFox, as well as KingSumo, the giveaway software that AppSumo makes. These are both pretty good tools. There's certainly a lot of competition for both of them, but you get access to them completely for free. I do have full-length reviews of SendFox and KingSumo as well, so definitely search the channel if you want to learn more about those tools that, again, are totally free included with your AppSumo Plus purchase. All right, so that's gonna do it for this emergency episode of the Taco Truck Roundup. If you've got any questions or comments, maybe you've been using one of these AI tools that is available for the flash sale. I have not used them all thoroughly, so definitely leave me some comments down below. Let me know which ones are good, which ones should be avoided. I wanna hear your opinions. Otherwise, head over to clientamp.com, get signed up for the free email newsletter, check out the show notes for all of my videos on this channel, and I'll see you in the next review.